these are the most powerful APS-C cameras from Sony in 2020. They look pretty much identical. Alpha 6600 and 6400. But what are the differences? What is up everyone? This is Oma and welcome back to another video. If you are confused which one of these you should buy, I'm sure this video will help you in making your decision. I can't call one of these bad and the other one a good camera, they are both amazing. The A6400 is considered a mid-range camera, while the 6600 is the flagship more advanced model, which has more features and definitely comes at a higher price. This is a new episode of Gearbox and let's get started. A64 and 6600 share many features, but first, let's discuss the 10 main differences. On this channel guys, we make photography and filmmaking gear reviews, so if you are new here, consider subscribing for more. The 6600 has a bigger grip and feels much more comfortable when holding it in my hand. I feel my full hand is holding the camera. Because Sony decided to put the FZ100 battery in the 6600, the same battery that Sony used for full frame cameras. The new battery is twice the size and has double running time. It can run the camera for 150 minutes in video recording and around 800 shots in stills. But from my experience, I always get more running time than Sony claim. And the 6400 on the other hand, on FW50 battery, can do around 75 minutes of video recording and 400 shots. But what's more important is sensor stabilization. The 6600, the flagship model, has 5 stops sensor stabilization. And the system can work with any lens, including non-native lenses such as this 40 years old Canon vintage lens. And to show you the difference in real world, here I'm testing both cameras, handheld and while walking. Video Aero Focus. Both cameras have Aero Focus in stills for human and animals, while the 6600 has also Video Aero Focus. It's the first Sony APS-C camera of its kind. A6400 uses face detection technology. It's excellent tracking mode, by the way. Well, if you don't know, all previous generations of Sony cameras disabled the face detection automatically in video mode when the camera is connected to an HDMI monitor. Eventually Sony solved this problem in the 6600 and the face detection and iron focus is still working when the camera is connected to an HDMI monitor. Headphone jack. The 6600 camera features a headphone jack so you can now professionally monitor your audio levels and the quality. It's the first Sony APS-C camera that comes with a headphone jack. Sometimes the microphone is touching the shirt and every time the speaker moves, you will get noisy scratches, so it's better to check that before filming. Custom buttons. The flagship model has four custom buttons, whereas the mid-range camera has only two custom buttons. These buttons can be set to any function you like, such as focus mode, focus speed, zebra, focus peaking, or whatever. The 6600 has two custom buttons on the top, C1 and C2. And another C3 and C4 next to the screen. In the 6400, we get only C1 on the top and C2 on the other side. The 6400 camera is a bit lighter than the 66. The camera including the battery and an SD card weighed 403 grams, 14.22 ounces. The same 66 setup weighed 503 grams, 17.7 ounces. Bear in mind the size of the new FZ100 battery and the 6600 camera.
Unlike the 6400, we got no pop-up flash in the 6600 camera. While both systems can do a maximum sync speed of 1 1 per second. At the time of this video, the 6600 camera comes at around $1200, while the 6400 camera is much cheaper. $900 for the body only and an additional $100 for the kit lens, 16 to 50 mil. However, Sony considers the 66 as a flagship model, so you only find it with professional lenses, such as 18 to 135 mil and the new G lens, 16 to 55 f2.8. These were the 10 differences, but these two cameras have a lot in common, starting with the sensor. Both are 24 megapixels and share the same ISO sensitivity. Both have a 3 inch screen that flip to 180 degrees. The screen shares similar resolution and have touch screen to focus. Touch is disabled in menu settings. The viewfinder is the same size and has 2,360,000 dots resolution. The same resolution in Sony a7 III camera. The tracking capabilities are impressive for both stills and videos, and they have the most advanced eye detection technology which works with the human and animals in a still mode. And as we discussed earlier, the 6600 camera has also the same feature in video mode. The two models share the same hybrid autofocus system, with 425 face detection and 425 contrast detection points across 84% of the sensor surface. Both cameras can do 11 frames per second in photography or 8 frames per second with live view on. On the video side, both cameras have no recording limit. They have 4K 30 frames per second and 1080 120 frames per second. S-Log, HRG, and other profile pictures. On the audio side, we get a built-in microphone and an external microphone input in both 66 and 6400. The two cameras can be charged via USB, but note that none of them comes with a battery charger. So finally, the 6400 is a great camera. I'm using it from 6 or 7 months ago, but I don't use gimbals and I suffer from stabilization. I need a stabilized sensor. So the 6600 is a better alternative for my type of work, as well as the face detection that stays active when the camera is connected to an HDMI monitor. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful and make sure to subscribe for more. This was Oma, and see you in another one.